Well, joining me now to talk more about Secretary Kerry's trip and his upcoming meeting with Mohamed Morsi is Rebecca Abu Chedid, a fellow at the Truman National Security Project and the political director of the group's Washington, D.C. chapter. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So we have John Kerry in Egypt. He's having talks with political and business leaders, urging them to get their house in order if they want to get that IMF loan. What's the agenda here for Kerry? First of all, I think that Kerry wants to show that he's going to be an active secretary of state and that with all of the talk of the Asia pivot um, that the Obama administration has been touting, that the Middle East is going to be very high on his agenda. He knows a lot of these leaders from his uh, job as a senator, as the head of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and I think he wants to start right away and let them know that he's there and he's ready and he's ready to engage. You know, there's been this great call in the United States for democracy in the Middle East. Egypt has experienced democracy right now, and it doesn't seem the United States is too happy with the outcome. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I think that this is going to be a long process, and I think that we all need to be patient. I think the most important thing for the United States, the really vital thing, is that the United States not be seen to be picking winners and losers, uh, specifically in Egypt. They need, right now, you know, I was in Egypt in November, and a lot of the talk amongst the opposition was that they felt the United States was, uh, wanted the Brotherhood to win and was taking the Brotherhood side. And I think that we need to, as, as the, the government needs to find the right balance between uh, working with the elected government of Egypt, but not having relationships that are directly with one person or one party. They need to really, that's why it's good that he's meeting with business leaders, he met with opposition leaders. The U.S., the time where the United States could have a relationship with one person in Egypt is yeah. over. You know, we did have President Obama say that Egypt is no longer an ally of the United States. He didn't say that about Hosni Mubarak. He didn't, and you know, th there was a lot of noise about that remark, mm -hmm. and then he also, you know, said some very nice things about President Morsi after the ceasefire in Gaza. And so I think that both countries are kind of working through what the relationship, what the new relationship between Egypt and the United States is going to look like. Right. When someone like John Kerry talks to the Egyptians, uh, you know, how far away is the Israeli peace treaty from all those talks? I mean, are they concerned about the fact that Egypt might say, look, we know, we're not in this treaty any longer? No, I really, I don't think that that is what is on the agenda in Egypt right now. Mm -hmm. You don't, even, I was there the day after the Gaza ceasefires, the mm -hmm. day that I arrived, which was also the day the constitutional decree came out. And I didn't hear anyone talking about uh, breaking the Camp David Treaty. They were upset about Gaza, but there are so many internal issues going on in Egypt right now that the idea of any conflict with Israel just seems so far off anyone's agenda. You think the same thing uh, with Syria? Because... Uh, when this announced, when this visit was announced uh, by Kerry, um, you know, a lot of it seemed to be about Syria and how the U.S. was going to respond to what is going on right there. Right. I mean, is he going to talk to the Egyptians about it? The, Egypt is seen as one of the most influential players in the Middle East. I'm sure he will, and the Egyptians have historically had been a leader, a political leader in the Middle East, and I think they're interested in reasserting that leadership. And I think that the, you know, now that the elections are over and we have a new Secretary of State, a new Secretary of Defense. I think that it's, you know, the United States is really looking again at what's going on in Syria and their involvement and realizing that what they've done so far isn't working. And so, you, you know, you mentioned before that there's this increase in uh, an announcement for increasing non-lethal aid. And, you know, there's a desire to be incremental, it seems, in the White House. The, it came out that, that President Obama said no to a CIA, State Department, Pentagon plan to actually arm the rebels. But I do think there's an acknowledgement and a public acknowledgement that what's gone on right now, the U U.S. involvement isn't working, and that we don't want to stand by and continue to watch more Syrians dying every day. Okay, Rebecca, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me.